Thank you for joining us for Eat Lunch Give Virtual. I'm Todd Jakowitz, and along with my wife, Ann, it is our pleasure to welcome you here today to our virtual event. While we're all disappointed we can't be together in person, we're looking forward to sharing with you some of the wonderful work of the Women's Lunch Place. Later in the program, you'll hear from our co-chairs, Beth and Paul Collins. They too are devoted to the work of the Women's Lunch Place, and we've enjoyed leading this committee with them. I've been a member of the Women's Lunch Place Advisory Committee for over five years. Ann and I have been attending this luncheon since 2015, as well as other Women's Lunch Place events, and encouraging friends to join us to learn about the important work of Women's Lunch Place. I'm so glad to have stepped up to chair this event, and I encourage others to do so for the organization in the future. It's been a rewarding and impactful experience. We would like to thank our dedicated planning committee who worked tirelessly to encourage friends to support this important fundraiser and to join this virtual event. We would also like to thank our incredibly generous sponsors, advertisers, donors, and ticket buyers. All of our sponsors are listed on this webpage. We are tremendously grateful to all of you who responded to our request for help to make this event a success. Thank you. Today, you will have an opportunity to make a gift to support Women's Lunch Place services. Each donor will be automatically entered into the Women's Lunch Place raffle and given a chance to win one of the amazing raffle prizes. And you can purchase as many additional chances as you would like. If you're watching on Facebook, please click on the link in the description to donate through our secure online giving portal. Finally, I hope you'll try some of the delicious recipes from Menus for Change. We're ready to go with our Eat Lunch Grain Bowl. We're very proud to welcome you to Eat Lunch Give Virtual. Welcome to Women's Lunch Place and the 2020 Eat Lunch Give program. I'm Jennifer Hanlon Wigan, the Executive Director of Women's Lunch Place. Although this is not how we traditionally gather for Eat Lunch Give, I am delighted to meet you all here today virtually. Despite the current crisis, I am energized and undaunted to move forward. Our workforce is on the front lines, serving Boston's most vulnerable women. At the door and on the road, they are completing wellness checks and delivering food and other essential supplies. In addition, we have partnered with other providers in the city to deliver our signature healthy meals to other homeless populations beyond our doors. Our staff are caring and they are intrepid, and at this moment in time, they are our heroes. You may be asking yourself, how can I help? Your generosity and your investment will help our women weather the storm, and they will help us to plan for further demand on our resources. We know that our women are burdened with health disparities due to their gender, race, and ethnicities. During this pandemic, we are seeing that in stark relief. Women's Lunch Place has pivoted to continue to provide services to our women who exist in a world that often does not recognize their presence. For nearly four decades, Women's Lunch Place has never been complacent because we believe in the dignity of every woman. As we emerge from the COVID-19 crisis in the coming days and weeks, I challenge each of us to think, what should the new normal be for women experiencing poverty and homelessness? I say it should not be the old normal. We must do better. Why should the daily existence of our guests be so far from removed from the expectations we have for ourselves and our families? We must address the social determinants of health. For our guests, that will mean supportive housing, which is critical. And true to our core mission, health improvements supported by high-level nutritious meals will be foundational. Today's honoree, Maureen Timmons, embodies the exploration and development of innovative programming that is a highlight of Women's Lunch Place. Let me tell you about Maureen and how she elevates Women's Lunch Place. Maureen is the Distinguished Director of Dining Services at Northeastern University. It was about a year and a half ago that she was first introduced to us. 
and I can fairly say she burst upon our community. Her mind began to rev, and she was deeply curious about how she could be helpful. She pulled together a team of champions across Northeastern and Women's Lunch Place to leverage our shared resources and expertise. Most importantly, Maureen introduced Women's Lunch Place to the groundbreaking Menus of Change initiative. Maureen is emphatic that optimal nutrition is not the purview of the privileged. Implementing key principles of Menus of Change and education, we have enriched our menus and our community. Maureen believes deeply in the mission of Women's Lunch Place, and she is an advocate for healthy and sustainable food choices for women. Women's Lunch Place is so pleased to honor Maureen Timmons with the 2020 Women Who Give Award. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Maureen Timmons. Thank you, Jennifer. I am honored and humbled to be acknowledged in this way by the Women's Lunch Place. It's one of my favorite places. For me, it was love at first sight. My first visit, I met Judy Beckler out on Newbury Street, one of Boston's most fabulous streets. And we descended a couple steps into the women's lunch place where there were about 250 women who live in extreme poverty. And yet the energy in that room and the warm space, the hospitality was stunning to me. I was taken aback. It, it almost stopped me in my tracks. I was so shocked at the juxtaposition of leaving Newberry Street and walking into the shelter and the feeling that immediately captured me. We had a tour of the space. I got to see all the services that they offer. And in addition to the food, they have creative expressions, which I was especially, especially excited about. And after about an hour, I just, my brain was going crazy thinking like, oh my gosh, we have to do something. How can I help? How can we help? And through this, we created a really incredible partnership, um, connected our women's lunch place team with our dining professionals. We donate regularly as we do to many other um, shelters and food banks in the city. Our, we brought our students to volunteer, which is amazing to introduce them to, to what's happening down there and, and have them also have that feeling of what can I do? How can I help? Also, uh, we have quite a few students that are doing projects at the university to assist with the Women's Lunch Place, which is another way to integrate the institution as part of the community. And then there's menus of change. Uh, we started talking about that a while back. Chef Sherry and I had talked about that when she toured. And this past fall and spring semester, we offered an experiential food literacy class, which taught about the menus of change principles, which were designed by the Harvard School of Public Health and the Culinary Institute of America. And it's 24 principles that talk about healthy, sustainable, and delicious food. And we thought, you know, this isn't just for universities, this is for everyone. And wouldn't it be cool if we could integrate these into the women's lunch place? Why not? So, and we like on, at the university, we think of um, our institution as a living and learning lab and, and the women's lunch place thinks of themselves in the same way. So we were very much aligned there also. It's just been an incredible partnership. And in addition, I feel very fortunate to be able to volunteer usually about twice a month for the past year-ish. And I always describe those as some of my best four hours. And I have a lot of really good hours in a week, but I, I really, those are at the top of my gratitude list every time I'm there. The Sherry and Stacy and the whole team, plus the volunteers and the women themselves are so um, gracious. And they always make a point to come back and thank the volunteers. And we're always thinking, wow, we're, we're just, it's overwhelming. And just to see them and serve them, it's, it feels like such a gift to all of us to have that opportunity. Um, in the future, I know we're gonna have many more co-creations between myself and the university and Women's Lunch Place. There's huge potential. There's just, it, it's the potential to me, it's, it's almost like I can't contain it in my brain, the amount of potential that there is. And everyone deserves healthy, delicious meals. And so I issue a call to action today. Now, today, I ask you to please visit the website and see how you can help. And then as soon as the physical distancing restrictions are lifted, I highly recommend you visit the shelter because you also will have the same reaction of like, I have to do something. I have to help. How can I contribute? And I ask you to please answer that call. Thank you. 
Hi everybody, it's Sherry Hughes. I'm the kitchen manager and chef at Women's Lunch Place. I just uh, want to welcome you to our event today. And I also want to tell you a little bit about what we're doing because we're not open for our ladies to come in, but we're still making great food for our ladies and putting a bag together every day for them that includes breakfast and lunch and water and some snacks so that they have food uh, every day. And we're also making some boxes for the ladies who may be homebound or elderly that can't get out. Uh, we're putting together some pantry boxes with some nice fresh products for them as well so that they have food. So we're staying really busy and um, it's a little quiet in here. but having a good time and, and getting things done. I want to tell you a little bit about menus of change. When I first learned about menus of change, uh, it was through Maureen, who is a volunteer in the kitchen on Saturday mornings, and I was talking to her about my desire to bring more healthful options to our ladies and how I can kind of turn a corner a little bit, and she said, oh, menus of change, and she knew exactly what I wanted to do. It's an opportunity for us to be better to our environment and to make use of more local resources but of course the best part about it is that it will help our ladies to feel better and therefore achieve more. So we went through and we've been doing a gap analysis which is kind of a fancy word for sort of a, a, a it's just a way for us to figure out what we're doing well and what we need to do differently. And a lot of the things that are part of menus of change, a lot of the principles are things that we already do here. We serve brown rice, we serve whole grain breads, we don't serve a lot of sugar, although our ladies get a cookie every day, and we try and serve the colors of the rainbow, so lots of fresh foods, and of course we get donations, so that helps with food waste, and a lot of the time we get food from local vendors, which makes us all really happy. One of the things that we learned uh, really quickly is that our ladies will always go for the food that looks the most beautiful and tastes the most delicious. So the way that we plan to become more plant focused and to embrace all of these principles of menus of change is to always make our vegetarian meal, which we produce every day, a, a separate vegetarian meal. We're gonna make our vegetarian meal absolutely beautiful and delicious and colorful and nutrient packed and, and bring our ladies to those ideas that you know, vegetarian food is good for you and plant-based food will help your health uh, by doing that, by making it the most beautiful plate of food and see which one they decide to try. The lunch that you're going to be enjoying today is the Eat Lunch Grain Bowl. It includes some really nice grains that have protein, which includes farro, brown rice, and uh, some quinoa. And then we have roasted red peppers, we have edamame, and edamame adds some protein as well. We have some roasted butternut squash that adds color and some beautiful flavor. I roasted some asparagus, and there are some other vegetables on the plate. And I topped it with some pesto that I made with parsley and kale stems and garlic and um, olive oil and lemon juice. So that's what lunch is today. And the other really amazing part of lunch is the dessert, which is a chocolate avocado mousse, which when I first heard about that, I went, I don't think I want any of that. And then someone made it for me and it was amazing. So we've included that for dessert. It is topped with a little chocolate mouse from Burdick Chocolate, which is right down the street. There are several of them in Boston. And we also used uh, Taza chocolate in the chocolate mousse. So we used a couple of local products. It's gonna be delicious. And you're also gonna see a picture of another really lovely recipe that we use that's part of Menus of Change, which is a mushroom lentil bolognese, and we served it on whole wheat pasta. And you'll have a copy of that uh, recipe as well. The principles of Menus of Change help us to embrace our um, 
our philosophy, which is food is medicine and it helps our ladies to continue to thrive in our community. We are really fortunate to have local partners. Fenway Victory Gardens donates to us and we have an herb garden right out front that we use all the time. The Eat Lunch Grain Bowl is going to be served as lunch for our ladies today, so they will get to enjoy exactly what I described to you and what you see pictures of and what you have a recipe for. Thank you. It's very good for the women to have a good meal because a lot of places you don't get a good meal. Trust me, you know. The dietary food here is nutritional, delicious, and I like the fact that they offer vegetarian alternatives, fresh greens every day. Proteins are usually matched with your carbs and your salads. It's really better than some hospitals I've been in as far as the food amount and the nutritional value of that food. I myself earlier last year went through chemotherapy for six months and it was due to the food here that I did so well while I was on the street. I come over here for lunch almost two years now. Their place is beautiful. Free coffee for us. My girlfriend and I we are very, very, very enjoy because I meet lots of nice people over here. We are very comfortable. The flower on the table every day, nice and clean. So we are very, very, very enjoy. When I came to Women's Lunch Place, I learned to knit, which I didn't know what to do. I, I go upstairs, learn computer. Um, it's so many things I learned here that has been helpful to me and I just love it. Now I have my own apartment and all that. I still come because it's a nice environment. Because of the Women's Lunch Place, in one week I got a free haircut, I got my Mass Health card, I got a job, and I got a room in literally one week. It was astounding. It's overwhelming. Truly, truly overwhelming. And I've made great friends here. Great friends that I'm sure will be lifelong friends. You need places like the Women's Lunch Place because the advocates and the volunteers here, they just suck you in and they, they let you know, like, look, if you need these things, we can help you. You need a necklace, you need perfume, you need soap, you need toothbrush. You need something to put on. They give you a voucher, you can go somewhere, or they give you a, actually not a voucher, a referral. I'm a disabled veteran and a nurse, and because of Women's Lunch Place, which is full of dignity and love for women, it saved my life. For all of our women that are in shelters, do not judge them. They could have been professionals, they raised families, they served their country. They're great women, they just went through tough times. So thank you very much, Women's Lunch Place, for saving my life. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paul Collins, and on behalf of my wife, Beth Collins, who is unfortunately not able to be here today because she's a practicing uh, palliative care physician, and during this time of COVID-19, her and her team are working seven days a week, but she sends her regrets and wanted to say thank you very much for participating in this virtual event to support the Women's Lunch Place. Personally, myself, I've been a volunteer cook at the Women's Lunch Place since 2011. And it's been an extremely rewarding experience working with Sherry and her team and the rest of the really wonderful volunteers to produce healthy and delicious food and serve it to the women in need who are guests at the Women's Lunch Place. 
As my fellow co-chair Todd Jackowitz explained earlier in the event, please consider getting involved in the Women's Lunch Place. If you're new to the Women's Lunch Place, consider working in the kitchen. It's a wonderful way to really see how the Women's Lunch Place provides its services, its food, its wraparound advocacy services to the women in need who are experiencing homelessness and poverty in Boston. If you're already a member of the Women's Lunch Place community, thank you very much for that. Please consider stepping up into one of the leadership positions at the Women's Lunch Place. For everyone out there, by being here today at this virtual event, I hope that you come away with a greater understanding of the important work that the Women's Lunch Place does day in and day out, providing uh, wraparound advocacy services, delicious food, healthy food, and a sense of community to the women in need in, in and around Boston. And that comes to our mission. How can we all help? Today, we've got a couple of opportunities to help. One is the raffle. We've got some wonderful raffle prizes by, donated by friends of the Women's Lunch Place, and you can purchase raffle tickets for, for only $25. And we encourage you actually to purchase as many raffle tickets as possible to increase your chances of winning and help funding the, the mission of the Women's Lunch Place. The second way to help today is to look on the screen and you'll see a link to fund our future and to keep the important work of, of this incredible mission going forward. Please consider opening that link and being as generous as possible with your donation. The Women's Lunch Place truly appreciates any donation in any amount that you could provide. If you're viewing this event with Facebook, you can click on the video description link and contribute to fund our future. So in closing, we just wanted to say thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts and stay safe out there. Hello again. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation for Eat Lunch Give 2020, and I thank you so much for joining us here today. I also hope that you've been able to get a sense of our mission and the work we do, as well as the impact that your investment can have on the lives of the guests at Women's Lunch Place. And so I ask you to give, whether that's through the raffle where you can have a little bit of fun, or if you can give more generously to the COVID-19 emergency fund that we've established here at Women's Lunch Place. It will help us to meet not only the extraordinary expenses related to COVID-19, but also to anticipate for the needs related to emergency assistance, given the economic fallout that has followed in the wake of this pandemic. If I could leave you with one vignette of a guest, Marie, that we've been working with for some time, when we initially went to the uh, delivery service model, an advocate brought food to her. What she discovered at her apartment was uh, a space virtually devoid of furniture, no food in the refrigerator, no supplies, no hygiene supplies to stay safe in this uh, health emergency. And so our advocate returned with what she needed and with our word that we would continue to return and to be with her in community through this crisis. Sadly, that's not a singular story. This is what our advocates are seeing every day. And that's why I ask you to give, to support these women who live in the neighborhoods that you read about, Mattapan, Roxbury, Dorchester, the need is so great. Food insecurity has increased fourfold in our state, which means that if we were gathered in community today, four of the guests at your table of 10 would represent women and men and children in Massachusetts who do not know where their next meal will come from. So I do hope that next year we will gather in community I hope that you will continue to support us. If you're new to our community, I welcome you to reach out. I would love to give you a tour and share more of the work that we do here. Until then, everyone, please stay safe and healthy and um, take good care. Thank you.